GUI versus Storyboard is part of a bigger question of whether you should use a GUI to create a GUI. That too in iOS. The quality of your mobile app screen design is determined by the GUI. So in this video, we'll explain Swift UI and Storyboards, their functions and the main differences between them. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of which tool is most suitable for your workflow. To code or use an interface builder has been a subject of debate since at least 1992, when a highly respected Steve Jobs introduced Interface Builder. Well, in those good olden days, the only GUI component the world was aware of was HTML. Then came XML, which allows different applications to exchange and store data and the way it structured was easily understood. Both XML and HTML use tags to define the structure and contain the document. Here is how the similarities between storyboards and HTML help these both developers learn quickly. Number one was the familiar structure, which enabled developers who were already familiar with HTML and found it easier to understand the storyboard concept. Second was the visual representation. Now storyboards have a visual interface. They provide a more tangible way to see how UI elements fit together in the screen, which could be easier to grasp when compared to HTML text-based syntax. So as soon as you drag a view, the interface would get updated, showing the preview. Third, and the most important, was the drag and drop functionality as it simplified the process for creating layouts. It made more intuitive for the developers who were used to working with visual interfaces. In essence, Storyboard's visual approach and hierarchical structure made it easier for developers with HTML to quickly adapt to and learn the new concept of Storyboards. So here is the question, is SwiftUI better than Storyboard? Yes, it is. SwiftUI is a better choice than Storyboard because it's easier to maintain and it's easier to test while providing a decent design time for GUI. Here are the list of benefits. Benefit number one is better source control. Now Swift UI is entirely Swift code to generate the UI. Hence, it's all done with merge conflict errors and there are no conflicts when you try to do in the Swift source files. However, the storyboard file is a large complex machine generated XML file, making merge conflict almost nerve wracking to resolve. Swift UI allows more shared UI code between iOS and Mac OS. Apple follows AppKit, desktop apps, and UI Kit for mobile apps. But storyboard files for Mac OS application, which target the AppKit, are separate from the mobile iOS which target the UI kit. Now Storyboard in macOS center around NSS Storyboard, whereas iOS UI Storyboard. Now if you use something called as Catalyst, you can build this macOS app. Well, that's adding a lot of complexity to the development. That's like adding more butter to existing butter on a butter chicken. Doesn't make sense? Don't do it. Benefit number two is the better design time. Now similar to Interface Builder, you get a Swift UI preview that can show your design inside Expo without running your app. Swift UI goes further, allowing you to interact with your preview and try out dynamic behaviors. But storyboards cannot. You, for example, can have multiple previews for the same component. Each preview showing how it would look on different screens, that too with different colors. Technically, Swift UI previews compile your code and run it in a restricted environment. Hence, it runs a custom component as part of a preview. However, storyboards are limited to displaying custom components as placeholders. That's like you're garnishing your butter chicken with dhania, kanda, and assortments to make it tasty. Go ahead and do it. Can you use Storyboard with SwiftUI? Yes, you can. You can embed a Storyboard within a SwiftUI. 
Hence, you can use this technique to develop new components in Swift UI by keeping pre-existing code based on storyboard. Likewise, this helps you not to hamper existing functionality and develop new features in Swift UI. So if you're tired or struggling with complex iOS development concept, then download the Programming Hub app. The Programming Hub app is your one-stop solution for mastering Swift UI and other cutting-edge technologies. With our interactive courses, real-world projects, and expert guidance, you'll be building stunning iOS apps in no time. Download our app and the link is in the description box below. It will help you unlock your full potential as an iOS developer. Now coming to the last question, does Swift UI replace Storyboard? Now I'll answer this by asking if your deployment target in iOS is 14 or later, then Swift UI can replace. Well, our research says iOS 14 was released in September 2020. Look at the current date, guys. It's September 2024 gone. So you can surely move towards Swift UI. Apple would likely announce the application a few years before removing a widely used API like Storyboard. Here is a table that briefly compares both these technologies. Take accurate decision based on all the judgmental parameters that you see here. If you like what we do, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more in-depth tutorials, coding challenges, and the latest update on technology trends. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know about our new courses, live streams, and exclusive content. Happy coding!